going on? Don't flop all fucking day. We are here, Sunburn volume number two. I hope there's going to be many more. It's been a fucking awesome weekend. Nothing but love from the team, for all the fans for coming out, all the battlers as well. We've got to get into one of the dope battles. We've got two real fucking sick up and comers from last year coming back into the league. Their first main event, main stage battle. Let's see what goes on. Promo battle as usual. Three rounds, no judges. So make sure you let us know you think one on the forum. All right, MC on my right hand side. Make sure you see his last few battles. He's fucking hilarious. Jay Dillon, make some noise. Yeah. Exactly the same thing, absolute joker, killed his last few battles. Now here at Sunburn 2, we got Ren DMC, make some noise. Yeah. 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 Hey. We uh, chose off camera, Ren won the flip, you want a J Dillon to go first, it's round number one. Make sure you tweet us on hashtag Sunburn 2 throughout the battle, let's do this. Hey, he took the name Ren DMC, it must have seemed so good. Who helped you choose, Deep Throat Thug? <laughs> <laughs> But Ren's not a thug or a bad man, but two zoots with the man dem, he's Boo Banton. Cos he used to do acting, he used to do acting, yeah, he was the third member of Keenan and Kale that just didn't gel. And as for his health, well, all I'll say is, he's the one at his workplace giving him first aids. <laughs> it's strange, Ren's thin, but he used to be bigger. He used to have the figure of Rennie Zell Wigger. <laughs> he tells lies, he's a hell of a fibber. He might be white, just a hell of a wigger. <laughs> so I figured battling's his disguise. He's insecure, so he disguise. Cos this guy's less popular than celery, but that's life. C'est la vie. <laughs> pa pardon my friends, but his name is a clue. Even his Marseille, Ren has to lose. Ooh. Ren's straight, but once a blue moon, there's a rendezvous with Ron, Dave, and you. <laughs> so, Everything. One line of so it hides in the bogs like the Fonz used to do, hoping they fondle you. I cook your girl fondue, she loves me, but she's fond of you. <laughs> Fondue. It's wrong but true, but when Ren's in need of a stranger's hand, he paints his nails and thinks of Azalea Banks. <laughs> I study the Quran to settle my mind, like a woman in Iran, Ren's ten steps behind. <laughs> and if he asks you to buy any pills, don't get any, cos Ren's ease a Renny. Time. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Ren, let's go, bro. From JB to J Red to J Dylan, I know what you're probably thinking. This is gonna be proper. But first things first, why the fuck you got those stars on your collar? <laughs> See, when this battle was confirmed, I was like, uh, you got me versus J Dylan, this will not be fair. Then Ur replied, tell me how this battle isn't fair. <laughs> I mean, he's got a scout sax and it's more easy to rhyme words. <laughs> But when I found out I was clashing you, I had to do some research. But then I said, fuck that, kill him with a deep verse, kill him round one, because that is what he deserves. But this is what I really rehearsed. See, Roseanne called. Who's Roseanne? His wife, obviously. <laughs> she was like, Ren, my husband's big game, it needs work. So I was like, I'm a pro, should have hollered me first. I can give you that alphabet love, you know, A, B, C, but I'll give her the D first. But she was like, oh, Ren, stop with those cheesy jokes. Just focus on the battle with my husband, you cheeky bloke. <laughs> so I was like, all right, you're about to be a widow. It's murder when you hear the lyrics that I really wrote. Then I came up with this. <laughs> you're going to like this. Get sing along, by the way. See, I hate man's teeth. Looking like you <laughs> Yes. This is how it went. See, I hate man's teeth. Looking like you auditioned for Bugs Bunny and Space Jam 3. <laughs> and then I saw his teeth and his gums, bud. Now I know why mum told us not to eat sweets when I was younger. But this right here is a classic paper. And if I spray these bars, it cannot save you. Because on this sheet, funny bars about your teeth. But I used all of these on Harry Baker. <laughs> Do you know what was that? I thought I was going to lose to him, and his teeth's funny, so I thought I might as well use on him. I hope you don't mind. But I can't understand what you're spitting about. But you look like a person I couldn't figure it out. Till I was watching WWE, then it hit me. Don't he look like Chris Benoit when he spits them bars? <laughs> it's like, training days after day, I was supposed to meet ya. Two 60 second rounds, I was supposed to beat ya. But he was confused, and the dude didn't turn up. Like, uh, I thought Fiddler's elbow was a move by John Cena. <laughs> You look like one of them extras in Football Factory. <laughs> and 
Because sometimes I wonder if you have got any more clothes. Or maybe you've got 40 more of those in your wardrobe. <laughs> like Kenny from South Park with those gay trousers. Because no matter what hood he's in, we see the same outfit. Ooh. And I'd be like, fuck deal. He's an MC that I must kill. If I'm ashamed to battle him, imagine how his mum feels. <laughs> and if you don't like the bars about your teeth, then you should have wore a motherfucking gum show. That's one nil. <laughs> talked about Matisse and you would mention it. It's important to Ren because he got raped by his dentist. <laughs> hey. Ren writes a lot of gimmicks and chooses the best. He wanted to do this in a sumo vest. And Ren salute to the food he loves best. He called his son Little Junior Spesh. <laughs> But he used to be stressed because his auntie's a Baptist who hates this rap shit. And fact is, he was conceived watching Ren and Stimpy. Mum's outfit was very skimpy. <laughs> but still, he brags a lot. It was Kalashnikov that banged his mum and then ran off. <laughs> Kalashnikov banged his mum and then ran off. So dad's probably cool, but mum's wrong though. She gets that cider inside her and she's got strong bow. <laughs> I hate to be mean though, a perfume does nothing, it's just a placebo. <laughs> and Ren knows when it comes to don't flop, he's in the friend zone. Cause while I turn blue cheese into cornettos, when he wants new jeans, he calls nettos. <laughs> and Ren's got no Rizzler for weed, so he rolls with bog roll, that's a toilet tree. <laughs> and you see me turn Molly into parcel bombers, what did Ren bring to the party? Poppers. <laughs> And I'm sky high often, rhyming a lot, I'm rhyming a lot, I'm Tay Rock plus Brian Cox, Brian Rocks. <laughs> Tay Rock plus Brian Cox. And I admit his last battle was amazing. We went lap dance for celebration. When he got kicked out for touching, he's a pagan, but came back disguised and paid again. I was like, oh no. Dylan's hating my dope flow. <laughs> See that paper could be a ball. Your two front teeth could play the goalposts. <laughs> like he's right. Last round I pulled out some paper. And that was some bozo shit. I guess he's Drake, I guess I'm meek, but at least I wrote my shit. <laughs> and if you say you wrote your shit, you're lying out your ass. Like Drake drunk in the pub, he'd be buying out the bars. Cause when you do write, it's just some awkward raps. Man, I hate the fucking day that you was taught to rap. Hi, my name's Jay Dillon, love men, hate women. I literally had to pause your track. Then you said Triple B sent you a dick pic, right? Then your next line said it was this big, right? See, I do not know what's more fag about the guy. The fact that he saved the pickle that he analyzed the size. <laughs> And I bet you had to hide your phone when your wife came that evening. Kind of like the same time when she caught you cheating. He was like, baby, it really what it looks like. I was just painting, Steve was just leaving. <laughs> now she got mad and it is very peak. She flung out the TV and the PS3. She flung out the bed, now she's flinging out the seat. Got sick. She flung out the bed, now she's flinging out the sheets. Got him singing, our house in the middle of the street. <laughs> I saw him living on his knees. I was like, here's a cigarette, Jay, you can have a match. He was like, I thought you'd bring some Hennessy and a bag of man. This ain't what I meant when I said I need a pack of fags. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, George Michael, Ricky Martin, Boy George and Sam. He got happy when he heard they're forming a band. Because he hates music by Boy Better No, but he loves too many man, too many men. <laughs> See, this round here is called Reverse Michael Jackson. Watch me beat him so bad, he'll turn my complexion. And if Caitlyn Jenner walked in this room right now, he's the only guy that will get a slight erection. <laughs> because he is the definition of what a gentleman is. Like the type to be like, hey, miss, you need help with those bags? Then he went with the shit. <laughs> then if somebody called Feds very quick, he'll be like, officer, it wasn't me, but there's a black guy over there, so I guess it was him. <laughs> I didn't skip past that racist shit you said against Dotty. Lyrically, I'll damage an MC. Like the KKK leave you hanging from a tree. Well, there's a couple trees outside. And I'm a black man, I like to see you try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need game to draw his girl. I'll just be like, oi, I just need a second bitch. Hold up. Now I don't need your name, just your phone number. She was like, 079 275 Cool, then I phoned her. But then I looked in her phone book. 
I saw Big J, Pedro, Danny, Jack and Bamalam. <laughs> <laughs> so on second thoughts, you can have her back because she's been used more than Earth's name and battle rap. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go. No, no. <laughs> I was watching the Matrix the other day. That was beautiful, good. And I thought it was a new. It's real talk. I was watching the Matrix the other day. And I thought it was a new film. That had nothing to do with my round. But I saw the part about the red pill and blue pill. But why that's relevant is because you know what rhymes with blue pill? 2 0. <laughs> Wednesday started with Xbox, then what? Dinner, Frey Bentos, then what? Facebook, friend lost, then what? Battle, Ren lost. Hey, but you can't say Ren's not London through and through, man. He's even got a do rag with the tube map. <laughs> He said listening to Dizzy Rask was an aphrodisiac. <laughs> he met a girl at the zoo and Ren's best angle, tell her his dick had been tested on animals. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, Andy knows he came here to die, that's euthanasia. You watch weird videos, youth, in Asia. <laughs> oh, Hey, but he'll never be centre stage any day. But I respect Ren anyway. He launched his own protein shake called Renegade. <laughs> it's very strange, but he said it works. It's LucasAid mixed with his mace sperm. <laughs> I heard Ren's got a nice flow, but pen go either way. That's a biro. <laughs> and I know your style could be cool, you see, but you failed when you copied from the USB. <laughs> you need a yellow tracky. Do rap palette parody. You're not sick. Ren, just a bad allergy. <laughs> and you see, we can't find your tunes, Ren DMC. Mixtape soon, Ren DMC. You're weak with the pen, DMC. Now he's stressed before the battle, PMT. <laughs> your girl needs TLC. I spend time in London with a GMT. <laughs> it's a tough place. To it's a cheap place to crash, Airbnb. <laughs> and finally, if there was any justice at all in life, then surely Sean Price would take your life and be born twice. <laughs> Sean twice. Final round, go. Final round, go. That was mad disrespectful. Sean twice don't go there, matey. In your battle, you thought insecure meant when you go home safely. <laughs> now, let's, now let's, <laughs> let's get back to the rules. Your career's gonna be short, Jay. Your whole life will get watched back like a silly little vine. Cause you're on the card with Jay Short, Jay Red and Jay Nighty. Shit, your name's more original than mine. <laughs> but I ain't gonna say no more jokes about your gap teeth cause that's weak. And I ain't gonna clown you, you had a bad year. Got evicted and he didn't finish uni. So Jay Dillon had to take a gap year. That was predictable. <laughs> that was, he saw that coming. But then his mum was like, listen, son, you're a lovely child, but when you talk to girls, don't show that ugly smile. <laughs> That's why you can't talk to the ladies like me. With them two front teeth, you should have never outspoke. Because he ain't no lyricist. Do you know what he is? More like a ventriloquist. Learning how to talk to all these girls with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen, this is a new thing I'm going to try out here. <laughs> Chris Tam, your mum's got a tattoo of the DMX guy. <laughs> it, it took me a while to find something that looks like him. <laughs> kind of looks a bit more like a cheer and to cheer or whatever. But he seems kind of mad. He's like 34, but they got the same kind of swag. <laughs> uh, so listen, it's not all negative. I'm gonna put this away now. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. He's a proper G. On his Facebook, there's a picture with two swords. And he got a picture standing next to Will Smith. The wax version in Madam Two Swords. <laughs> so I said, fuck being lyrical this time, fuck performing when I rap. I'm just here to make you feel so insecure about the gap. And with teeth like that, I hope you never bite the hand that fucking feeds him. But let me go on to what I really wrote down this evening. So he used to be part of Get Slayed, Liverpool Bat Rap Rattle League and that. Alright, so he pulled up Get Slayed. Oh uh, yeah? I'll make sure to keep my information sometime. <laughs> He was like, oh, get slated. Guess what? I am on don't flop. Then what? They were like, yeah, so what? Then, then what? what? When you get killed by rent, then, then what? what? You better not phone us. Then, then he was like, mate, it's serious. 
They found a picture about me talking about the penises, and it's getting more views. They told me to keep repeating it, and I did. But I told you to delete the shit, so take it down, or I'll turn into the meanest prick, and I'll fucking, I'll fucking, I'll fucking bite you. You fucking see my teeth and shit. <laughs> I can tell you're from get slated, cause you say bars that are basic, then have the cheek to explain it. Like when you said this mug will see blood. Now that's a fake trip. I'll beat you down, then pick you up. Now that's a facelift. Then you said get connected with the Mac, USB. Make you leave, don't come back, that's lunacy. You're a fucking genius with the lyrics, but this is how I would have did it. No, I'm, I'm not as lyrical as you, so I'm not even gonna do that. <laughs> but, but this, is, this is how I'm gonna end it though. Time. <laughs> Burns in the pit of the heart of Anakin's, he turns to a sit in the lava. I am. Spinning Lava! And that final thought before the trigger and blast of singer guitarist in Nirvana. I am. Spinning Lava! In the combined shadow of Bolsky sitting with Sartre. <laughs>